I have to watch your church. And another very important person in my life, last time I would also mention about my friend, philosopher in Paris. And I'm a very dedicated man. From whom I learned a lot, not only about homeopathy, but how to live a good life, how to be a good human being. A person who himself is a very gentleman, very noble. I'm talking about Dr. Tomlesh Mehta from Bombay. I'm very much thankful to him to be here. And I feel very blessed in the presence of him. So before I start, Hello? Sometimes? Hello? Hello? Our guru, Dr. Anivin sir, and, I, and my teachers, Dr. Rajan Chandra, Dr. Jayesh sir, Dr. Praful Vijay Kar, Dr. Sunil Parzata, and many more. I learned for almost all the teachers and it's a, a huge impact on me. And for the last few years, there was dramatic change in my practice because of my teachers. Now that uh, shows a tremendous improvement in my life. Not only as far as homeopathy is concerned, but got to be a good human being. They play a major role in my life. This is my team who are working with me from the many, many years. I am very thankful to each and every person. They work very hard with me, constantly day in and day out. Even at the weeknight when I call them, they are always ready to help me. Such type of teamwork I am having. Okay, I am, see, I am a person, I am not a person of an I am not a person of a philosophy. So I am not going into the depth of the philosophy of homeopathy for what I am doing in my day-to-day -day life. This is what I am going to share with you. This is only through the cases. How I work out with the cases, day in and day out. But I will go with the, I am going to show the, all the approaches of the different, different cases, different, different approaches. So I start with the one case. It's just recently, I got this case very recently, in the case of acute angina. A lady 66 years old. Had sudden difficulty in breathing. On 9 June 2019, I was called to see the patient. She suddenly fainted with a profuse perspiration and coldness of the body. So remember each and every word what the patient uh, talked about. I give a lot of importance to each and every word. And in my practice, each and every word, each and every expression of the patient that has to match with the mathematic and the repertory. See, so prescribing in homeopathy is very simple. Very simple. Anybody can prescribe, anybody can say this is pulsatilla, this is detrimental, this is sulfur. Anybody can talk about. Anybody can give a name of the remedy. But how many of us are confident? How many of us are ready to back your life on that prescription? And this confidence is very important. This is what I am going to show you, how you, get, you become confident when you prescribe the remedy. You have to be 110% sure your remedy will work. I don't say my each and every case is get better. But after applying this approach, I can say my uh, success has increased. For last three years as I have evaluated myself, my success rate is raised up to the 90% in my day-to-day -day practice. So I always, every six months, evaluate myself. 
what type of cases I'm getting and how much success I get, how much cases I get failure, and why I get failure. And when any failure comes, I, I always feel happy because I learned something new out of that failure. And this failure makes me more and more to go into the depth of the mathematics and the repertory. I go with the patient, retest checking after retest checking after retest checking, till I don't get confident. I don't this time till I get confident. Few days back it happens, one patient came, I took the retest case for renal failure. I took the case, but I was not confident. I was confused between two remedies. So I asked the patient, sorry, I am not giving you medicine today. Whenever I get confident, when I am sure about your remedy, I will call you and give you the remedy. See, I do it in my almost with all the patients. When I am confident, I prescribe remedy. Otherwise, I won't prescribe. Not even I give a cell. I stay there with my patient, wait till my till you get the phone call. So in 9th of June, she suddenly fainted with a profuse perspiration and coldness of the body. When I reached there, she was in the bed with the gasping of breath. She was not able to speak properly, very much exhausted and had fear of losing breath. Very strong. She was just like going to... She was not able to talk even. See, anybody knows about the case, please don't talk about the remedy. So many of the students of Amirati College and the people who are always st uh, studying with me, they know this case because whatever I learn day to day, and I go and talk to the each and every student. If anyone knows about the rem remedy of the case, please don't tell anything. So I had a heaviness of the chest which constricted feeling. Also had heaviness in the left hand. Her pulse was very rapid. BP was 100 by 60. And I thought an acute angina, in the case of acute angina. How could be the remedy? Any guesses? What could be the remedy? What do you think of? This is the case. No desire, emergence, no thermals. See, it's an acute case. I cannot go and ask about what you desire, what, what thermals and these other things. You have to prescribe within no time, within one or two minutes. Any suggestion? Tabacum. Why? Poor perspiration. Acute angina. Okay? Fine. What else? Is it alpha? Is it alpha? Fear of death, angina pectoris. Fear of death, angina pectoris. Okay, fine. It is presented by the action of the drug. The pericardial region seems to be the center of attack. Constricts of the chest muscles with the radiation to the shoulders and the back. Extreme apnea, gasping for respiration, and fear of losing breath. See, exact symptoms of the patient, what she was going through. She was extreme apnea, severe gasping for the breath, and there is fear of losing breath or fear of death. Exact expression what the patient has. And you don't believe. And another thing was the coldness of the whole surface, skin is cold as marble. See, absolutely coldness of the body. See, each and every description matches with the material America. When it matches at this level, we are very, very sure our remedy will work. And just within 10 to 15 minutes, patient become normal. I send it to the, in the afternoon, I send it to the cardiologist. What he says, so it was an acute angina, but case was very well managed with homeopathy. And you continue with the homeopathy. See, there are very few cardiologists in Sugar City. 
they just agree with homeopathy. They are very, very open minded person. So I am going to talk about the same, another case. What is written in the shoulders, in the, both the arms, to the fingers and with the numbness. Exactly the same thing. In the case of ungenerated triple vessel disease, it's a beautiful case. When case came to me and have a very severe angina, and it was diagnosed as a triple vessel disease, and it was advised bypass surgery within 24 hours. It's a very serious condition. Patient is having constant angina pain. And his advice, triple vessels, all three vessels are blocked, about 90 to 98%. And he was advised bypass surgery within 24 hours. First, we have to have a guts to take such type of cases. This is very, very important thing. Not easy to take such type of cases. We should have the guts. We should have the confidence in ourselves and to our science that homeopathy can do it. I don't say, I can do it, homeopathy can do it. Anybody can do that thing. It's not that easy, that, not that difficult. It's a very simple. When it's simple, when it matches with your symptoms, patient symptoms and the drug symptoms, it exactly matches. When you get the perfect book picture, and I will try to show it almost in every cases, it matches with what America and a repertory. And when it matches, then and then only I Christian, then I become very, very confident and the remedy will work. So patient is at 55 years, came with a complaint of chest pain for the last few days. He had heaviness and a tightness in the chest with a difficulty in breathing. Chest pain activated a slight exertion. He could not exert much. Even during the rest, he was getting angina pain. See, when exertion won't get angina pain, but when during the rest, during sleep, when won't get angina pain, it's a very serious condition. So mind well, it's a very, very serious condition when person get angina pain or the heart problem during the rest time, during resting hours, it's very difficult. He said, whenever I get chest pain, along with that, I feel like Gola in the epigastrium. And that causes a discomfort. So very, very beautifully described the things. I feel something is stuck in the epigastrium. So initially, he is from the Saurashtra. He used the Kathevari language. I don't understand what Gola means. Constantly saying, after Guru Lage, sir, Guru Lage. I cannot actually express in his language. The Guru is very, very important thing. Then I realize that the Guru means he feels as if something like a gas. What he got? Talk about the Guru. Along the pain in the chest, there was a pain in the left hand with the numbness in the upper extremities. Having shortness of breath, needed fell at that time, and having tingling in the soles. He was diagnosed as a case of triple vessels block and was advised immediate bypass surgery. His left ventricular ejection fraction was just 30%. Is the case? How to analyze what is the remedy? So there are some people who know about the remedy. What do you think about the remedies? Huh? Ibis Nagra. Okay, why? 
that go Gola and Club Chulets. Okay? What else? See, our homeopathy is so beautiful. Our Matta Medica, our proving it so excellent. If you work with the Matta Medica, just understand line by line of the Matta Medica. That helps you a lot. But this is what I am doing is, I just read each and every word and line of the Matta Medica. And that helps me a lot. I understand everything. I always read in between the lines of Matta Medica. Once you start understanding that, this is very, very important to present in such type of cases. What do you think of carbo -based? Why carbo -based? This type of ending and gas and all. What to find? What else? Any thought of a remedy? Fine. What remedy have we stepped? Have we stepped the dioscore here, below that. I prescribed the medical dioscoria. I took the rubric, heart, angina pectoris. See, very, very important thing. See, in my practice, almost 90% of cases, I find the rubric with has one or two remedies. When I get such type of rubric in almost all the cases, I am so much confident in the things. When in this case also, uh, angina pectoris, angina pectoris, Sternocardia flatulence with. See, very, very important thing. Only one remedy is dioscoria. Acute angina with flatulence. Only remedy is dioscoria. And numbness of the hands. See, remedy goes with remedy is dioscoria. Going through and through. At this time, dioscoria 30. To the patient. Almost daily doses, initially prescribed TDS, last was 30 TDS, almost daily. We see the follow-up. What Matriya Medica says, what the Boric says, enter a pectoris, a pain back of the sternum into the arms, labor breathing, feeble action of the heart. Left ventricular ejection fraction was just 30 percent. Heart was not working properly. Very feeble working of the heart. What exactly written in the Matiyanika? Feeble function of the heart. Especially with the fluctuations. Especially with the fluctuations and the pain through chest and tightness across. So beautiful exact symptoms of the patient. When I prescribe diastole, frankly speaking, I thought for a thousand times. So we have mind, we have to prescribe only the heart remedy. Because in the case of a heart, we have to prescribe heart remedy. And frankly speaking, I don't believe in that things. I don't consider that we have to prescribe only heart remedy. If the liver fails, we have to think about the liver remedy. No. What totality comes? Just go with the totality. What means uh, angina pectoris? Follow up. Patient was much better. Within three days, pain was completely stopped. Just within three days, pain was completely stopped. Echo on the twelfth day shows left ventricular ejection fracture was 47%. <laughs> Just within 12 days, a sick patient is under treatment and doing very well. He went to this village and doing all routine farming work. With no pain, no deathlessness, nothing. He is doing absolutely fine. A 30% ejection fraction. This is 47, 48% of ejection fraction. So suddenly, when I am talking about this case, a one beautiful case came in my mind. This case, when I went to see, when I went to Bombay two years back, 
for one seminar. I was invited to compare seminar Viran. So first thing, and in the morning session there was a camp. And I was the chief of the And I have to see the cases, only the failure cases of other homeopathic. And I was given 20 cases, which has been not treated, not get better with other homeopath. One of the cases what I am just going to talk about. In the case of a lady, aged around 28 to 30, she came with a severe migraine pain. Very severe pain, she was absolutely restless with the pain, very unbearable pain, constant pain almost two or three times in the week. And the pain was so severe, she is not able to do anything. She has to take leave for three days in the week. And that causes a lot of problems. She was working in a corporate sector. So she was very busy. When I took the case, what she says, see, I'm just, I'm not going to the detail of the case. I'm just going to tell you exact expression of the patient on whom I come to the remedy. Fine? What he says, sir, I am suffering for more than 12 to 3. 15 years, I took lots of treatment, allopathy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, everything, even acupressure, acupuncture, everything. Nothing helps me. And Hamid, who referred this case to me, I have very high regards for him. He is a very dynamic person. Very renowned homeopath of India. And so I have very respect for him. So I was a little bit, the, what to do this, with the case? When he is not able to do anything, then see, to knowing the different kind of approach that helped me a lot. Many times one approach cannot help to deal with the each and every cases. What he says, I said, what do you feel? What could be the problem? So I am asking her, what could be the problem? What do you feel? What could be the reason for it? She said, sir, when suffering for the last so many years, I feel there is something wrong in my head. Maybe some tumor, maybe some cancer. I don't know what it is. So you better know. It's your job to find what going on in my mind. You can help me better. I said, what way that affects you? I said, it affects me a lot. I cannot be work even. I cannot take, I cannot handle any situation. I cannot handle my day-to-day -day life. I cannot look after my child, my husband. I cannot go for the work. Every day, and most importantly, I am not ready to take any kind of responsibility during that time. I hand over my responsibility to someone else. See how beautifully she talked about each and every word of the remedy. Because I know this remedy very well. Immediately the remedy started emerging in me. This is beautiful, each and every sentence is put. And just to confirm, I said from where it started, what happened? So actually pain was from a very long time, but it aggravated. It increased a lot after I had a delivery. After delivery, my problem aggravated. What would be the remedy? Very simple case. Sepia and Kalika. Okay, fine. What else? Any suggestion? Any other remedy? Sepia, Kalika. Very common remedy to think about after delivery. Kalika and Sepia. After parturition. Very common. Hmm? What else? How about that? What would we take out together? So this is the quick. Again, I, here I use the Segal's approach. Initially, the mix with the Segal's approach, my own understanding of a remedy. 
fear had settled down in her. Only one remedy. Single remedy to drink. What is this? Something wrong in my head. What she thought about? I took a look at Zedri. Fear had something wrong in her. Fear cancer of brain or tumor. Exactly we had the symptoms. Again, only three remedies for that. What is this? You are the better judge. You are the... I don't know what is going on. I took a great life desire for. And what he says, I cannot handle anything. Handle things anymore cannot. Overwhelmed by stress. And at the time, desire support. I sort of desire support. Handle things anymore cannot. Overwhelmed by stress. Woman in. It's a beautiful rubric we are having. And handles anymore. Overwhelmed by the stress. Weight wants to throw off. Weight wants to throw off. He wants to throw off the responsibility to someone else. Exact, exact, exact aspect of the patient. And generally it is delivery parturition after. What then becomes is, I prescribe remedy bambuza. Remedy with bambuza, bamboo. And beautiful is a recover. The two years has passed. Still, I am in the contact with that homeopath and she is doing fantastically well. Only in two years, she developed headache twice only. And that was the much less intensity. And everybody was prescribed Bambuza one and two doses in the two years. No repetition. The patient is much, much better, very, very healthy. So I depend, my whole practice is most depend upon the multi-medic and the repertory. I learned a lot about the repertory from Dr. Kamlesh He is the head of the department in the repertory in CMP College, Mumbai. And he is a person who encouraged me a lot in my homeopathic life. Okay. So another one beautiful case recollected recently happened a 15 days back. A lady whom I used to see her a long back for infertility and she got pregnant and she delivered baby. Then she didn't turn up. After around four or five years, 15 days back she turned up with a huge uh, main problem was the dysmenonia. She was diagnosed as a dysmoria by the general practitioner. Then she consulted the gynecologist. USC was done and turned out to be a severe ovarian tumor. It said to be tumor and oh, both the ovaries were very enlarged. I know her, she has a very past history of recurrent fungal infection, extensive lymphoma of the whole body. And that started reappearing and has a recurrent urinary infection. What she says is, Sir, I have a scooter on my scooter. I have a Then also I get a lot of burning. I get a lot of pain in my vagina. I cannot sit even. I cannot drive a scooter. I cannot sit on the hard surface. It pains me. Lot of burning pain I get. A gynecologist has written a uh, lot of cervical erosion. So the recurrent uh, problem with the leucoria, a lot of cervical erosion and multiple ulcers in the cervix. So this is the case. What to prescribe? So such type of cases are known to the patronize things. When you get such a beautiful picture of a remedy, there is no need to recognize the case. When you have a knowledge of the Bhakti America, when you understand every word of the Bhakti America, it helps you a lot to prescribe. I prescribed the remedy. After uh, seven or eight days, he called me. So I am feeling 80 to 90 percent better. Still, she is under my treatment. She is doing very well. I prescribed the remedy Vespa. So the Vespa and Boric. Open the Boric. The best part. Previously, she was given cantharis and the APs with partial indication, partial improvement. 
Then after he was pain was persistent, burning was persistent. So go with the Vespa, general it is, general it is. First, skin and female symptoms are marked. Beautiful. My remedies, so remedies, the site of action is on the skin and the female genitals. With indurated feeling. See, except indurated feeling. In female, menstruation, PC by depression, pain, frequent burning, maturation, settled by ascending up to the bed. See the during the symptoms, erosion. Erosion around the external os. Erosion around the external os. What I mentioned in the matrimonic aboric. And urinary symptoms. Urinary. Burning with maturation, also itching. So each and every aspect matches with the patient beautifully. I gave respect to all the two doses. And she was doing very well. So such type of remedy helped me a lot. What is my habit? I always read one or two remedies from the boric and one or two remedies from fata, almost daily at night, for many, many years. I preserve so many rare remedies, so many small, small remedies, so many small remedies, with a lot of confidence. That helps me a lot in my day to day practice. Next. This is again a very good case, treated by a very homeopath. And this case was referred to me by one of, one of the homeopathic doctors of Surat. In the case of a lady, 36 years, came to me with a chief complaint of <coughs> chronic leukorrhea. So these are the very long cases. But I am not going into depth of the each and every aspect. I just highlighted the main, main issue of the case. Leukorrhea was very offensive to treat yellowish green with very bad, very offensive. It was very, very offensive smell. One cannot see even in the room. See, this was a very... When she entered into my clinic, I to uh, use the air freshener every time. It was very pretty and very offensive. And very difficult for us to see the one. And it, it was very difficult to wash off. History of recurrent urinary tract infection since many years. She took lots of antibiotics without any relief. She also had abdominal pain with a urinary complaint. Next. Next. She used to get lots of burning in vagina and back head along with the leukorrhea. She was also having a multiple ulcers on the cervix, which used to burn a lot. Again, the urinary infection and burning and leukorrhea, burning, a lot of ulcers in the cervix, vagina. It was very similar of Vespa. What could be the remedy? Medorina. Okay. Kyosote. What else? Hepar hmm? sulfuricum. Any other? Anybody? You think of? Aristolopic remedies. It's a beautiful remedy. It is a combination of sepia, pulsatina, and arnica. When you see, think about the Aristolopic remedies, well, then you get a combination of some types of pulsatina, sepia, and arnica. A combination of three maybe. Aristotle made with a lot of use of uh, hormonal pills. It makes no hormonal pills, think about the Aristotle local remedies, one of the very important remedies. Any 
Anything you think of? Any other remedy? Ammonium carbon. Okay, why? I worked, I worked out with the case. These are the rubric which I consider it. See, I always use the repertory in each and every cases. I use, I open repertory thousand times in a day. Just for even one single symptoms. I just open the repertory and look into the repertory. Every day in every patient, every cases. And I learn material media through repertory. Repertory is one of the source to learn material media. After rubric, leucoria, leucoria offensive, leucoria putrid, leucoria yellow green, leucoria stained linen, leucoria stained linen indelible. I have not done anything. What the patient says, I have to accept the same rubric. What is the remedy? Pulex. Pulex irritant. I gave a remedy, it's a flea. Maki, maki, it's a maki. Two lakhs editors. I show you material maker, how beautifully it matches with the material maker description. Next. What is mentioned in the material maker in body? Mark urinary symptoms, mark urinary and female symptoms. First line in body. Then, what is mentioned? Mensis delay, see, profuse foul staining, greenish yellow, stains the menses and require a very hard to wash off with the backache. Exact word, exact description of the material of the patient, matches beautifully. In my day to day life practice, at least three to four cases in the day, I preserve such type of small, small remedies with beautiful, excellent results. So it's a beautiful case of a chronic arteria. Again, it's a very chronic case. She was suffering for more than last 15 years. Lady is 33 years. Came with a chronic arteria, more than 15 years. She had been treated with all sorts of treatment, including homeopathy. <coughs> I took a multiple retest taking. It was for me, from my side, there were multiple retest taking. I couldn't find the remedy initially. Three, four, five retest taking, and then I get the beautiful picture of a remedy. Next. She was given many homeopathic remedies without much improvement. <coughs> So today I find the remedy and one day she came with a severe articaria. It was a very acute problem she came with. Extensive articaria all over the body. She came, was, came in a very bad shape. I said, this is the day. If I find the remedy, fine. Otherwise I said, no. Still I said the patient. Today if I don't find the remedy, I say no, go to the other wrong pet or the allopathy, whatever you want to take. Stay there with the patient. And then sit with the patient. Then I work out with the case. Her articulate was activated at night and activated by warm application. She said, whenever I am emotionally excited, I develop the articulate. When she gets emotionally upset, she gets the articulate. Next. When I ask her how it affects you, she said, it's my common question to every patient, every complaint, how the complaint affects you, mentally, physically, day to day life, all sorts of common questions. She said, whenever I get this, I cannot do anything. As such, I do not like to do anything. This word is very important. I do not like to do anything when I get the articulate. This was the things that stuck in my mind. She is not able to do, she is not like to do anything when she gets the articulia. That was a very strong symptom. She said, basically, I am a very introverted person. Cannot express my feeling easily. But with close people, 
and very open, cannot talk, uh, can talk to them very freely. Very introverted lady, but with the very close people, she talk very easily, very freely. During that time, during at that time is during a trick area, during a take of a trick area. I cannot think of anything. My mind does not work properly. Nothing goes in as if I feel I am a blank. This is the case. Why Bohusta? Absent minded articulate beautiful. Only single remedy, right? Single remedy in Bovista. What else? I do not like to do anything during the Arctic area. Everything to everything. Everything everything to Arctic area in. Okay, only one remedy is Bovista. Single remedy. Then introverted. Loquacity open hearted. So one side I took an introverted, one side loquacity. That means she basically she is introverted, but with the close people. She is very loquacious. She talks with the open heart. She talks very freely with the very close people. Very eh, then articulate life, articulate emotional excitement, aggravation, articulate warmth, aggravation. And remedy was Bovista. She did absolutely well. Yes. See, not necessary. I always work with the mental symptoms. I um, also take a lot of physical symptoms. I give a lot of importance to physical symptoms and all. This is one of the beautiful example of this case. Let's get in July 2016. I had a call to see a small child around one month. On fall. I told that the child had a jerk in the body and was admitted in hospital and found that he had a low sodium and due to that he had a jerk. And that's what the hospital report says. Next. When we went there, at that time the child was sleeping and he looked very emaciated, lean and the face and his face was very oily. His nose was very shiny. Mother told that he had a jerk or maybe the convulsions. Mother was not sure. Maybe jerks or maybe convulsions. He was hospitalized for three, four days. When sodium level found very low, they investigated and child thoroughly investigated thoroughly, and the child was diagnosed in case of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Next. This was a case. No, but there is no treatment in allopathy. Only treatment is corticosteroid. And he has to take it for a lifelong. Whole life. There is no treatment for it. Corticosteroid for whole life. That's the only treatment. Pediatrician advised to consult pediatric endocrinologist for the further treatment. So they consulted Dr. Abhijit Kurkani from Bombay. Very renowned. Pediatric endocrinologist or opposite cardiologist. He put in child on hydrocortisone and asked the parents that he will have to take it for a lifelong. Mother complained that she felt that she had oh, sorry. Mother complained that she felt that he has lost some weight also. Child has lost weight also. He did not used to take feeding properly. When he got born, he had some infection in the umbilicus and had offensive smell from the umbilicus. He also had a neonatal jaundice on the next day. And mother had a lactation problem. See, I treated a mother when she, during pregnancy. She developed a gestational diabetes. She was advised to go to take insulin and mother said, I don't want to go for insulin, I want to go for homeopathy. And our diabetes was treated with homeopathy beautifully throughout the pregnancy. So I know each and every aspect of the mother during pregnancy. 
because he was under my treatment throughout the pregnancy. When you observed, the child had a profuse perspiration, more on the nose and the margin of the hands. Child was very dull. Mother tried to feed but was not taken properly. Child was on hydrocortisone, 20 mg TDS. History of mother during pregnancy. <coughs> mother developed a justness with diabetes in the seventh month of pregnancy. She was very worried about her health and about the child. She had constant, uh, she had a constant fear of a delivery and fear that something will happen during delivery. She was very much depressed. She was advised to take insulin, but she was not ready for that. She had a very strong craving for cakes, pastries and cakes she likes most, pizza and chocolates. She was feeling alone because husband was not there with her. She used to cry a lot and she had a fear of injections. The, one of the reason for not taking insulin, fear of in injection, it was very strong. I used to treat her mother when she was a child. When she first, I considered me when mother was around 8 or 9 years old and when she developed severe uh, chicken pox. First time she comes to me. There was a very big story in that. And then she was treated beautifully with the anti crude at that time. I still remember the remedy. Anti crude was given to the mother and mother was doing very well. And when she developed, she came into the puberty of menarche developed at the time of the first menses. She had a very severe dysmenorrhea. It was unmanageable with allopathic medication. Then she again she consulted me. I said, go for a sonography. And there was a huge tumor in the ovary that turned out to be malignant at the age of 17 years. I asked them to go for PET scan. It was, they were not spreading only, so I advised them to go for surgery. Uh, ovary was removed and they would consult, then continue with the treatment. In between, somebody suggested to consult Dr. Prafal Vijay Kassar. One of the relatives of them is a very big shot of Ahmedabad. The family is very big shot of Ahmedabad. They are very close relatives, they are Vijay Kassar's patient. So they asked to consult Vijay They called me and said, can we go? I said, fine, you go with the Vijay Kar. And the Vijay, they went to the Vijay Kar, sir. And they took the case. What sir says, Dr. Samir has done everything properly. See, this is the openness of my homeopath. Where are few homeopaths nowadays, they are so much open. Now, what I forgot to tell you, what I'm doing that time, a child, a mother had asthma. And she was advised to go for uh, feast therapy. And I said, no, don't go with the feast therapy, don't suppress it, otherwise you will end up with something else. And then after suppression with the feast therapy, she developed the tumor. And so they consulted Vijay Kassar. They said, Samir has given exactly the best treatment, continue with the treatment. And she was given anti crude throughout her life. Till she developed the pregnancy. She was an anti crude throughout her life. And that was a beautiful case treated with a malignancy. After anti, anti crude, no secondary developed. She conceived also after way and she uh, delivered a child. She had aversion to vegetables, very strong symptoms. She was thirsty, extremely thirst for cold water. Next. Mother had asthmatic, I only talked about the whole story. The mother was treated with homeopathy. And diabetes was pregnant, she was given Sekram Alp. During pregnancy, she was given Sekram Alp. And with, with Sekram Alp, the diabetic was beautiful and under control. Next. Family of cancer, pancreas, history with heart disease and diabetes. What will everybody? I should talk about the uh, report. Very important, very important report was 17 projects, uh, 17 hydroxy progesterone in more than 400, above 400. Normally, 
0.52 to 1.86. This was a diagnostic aspect of the ACH. You know, very hard. See, after homeopathic treatment, what changes take place just after one month? Beautiful. This is our case of Abhishek Kulkarni. Next. This was a whole investigation. Next. See, after treatment of homeopathy, seven progesterone, hydroxy progesterone comes to 1.81. Just after one month of the treatment, which was above 400. And slowly and slowly, uh, cortisol will taper off. It takes time, but it very slowly. Next report. Then, after six months, almost 0.35. Same report, progesterone, hydroxy, progesterone. Next. 0.47. Next. 0.20. See, see beautiful. It's in every report. But endocardiologist was not ready to believe it. I never seen in my life ACH get better. He never came up with any case. Then he talked to me. So what to give? You also gave the steroids what I prescribed. I said no. Then I explained the whole case and whole homeopathy and everything. And slowly, slowly he stopped all the elements medication. Now he's around two years old child, uh, around two years, and doing very well with only your homeopathy. Next. What could be the remedy? What is the remedy? Anybody think of? Abrotinum. Okay. Why Why and abrotinum? Poily face, and after birth. Okay. So this is the rubric which I took. Remedy is very good. I please have the letter you like to come. See, simple, shiny, oily face, greasy, oily face, generalized emaciation, perspiration, nose, emaciation, children in, perspiration, hair margin of, fear, delivery, parturition for, and fear happens something will delivery, parturition during. We have to be very accept with the patient's explanation. The remedy was a letter to that account. I got letter with 31 dose. I used to repeat letter with 31 dose almost every month, once a month, 30 potency. Whether symptom develop or doesn't develop, just in, I de make it criteria. Till the reports get normal, I have to give 30 potency every one month. And after three months, I stopped 30 potency. After one year, I gave one dose of lactam with 200. Three or four doses of lactam with 30 and two doses of lactam with 200 was given. And one year interval, that's it. No other treatment was given. Fine. Couldn't bear. She was screaming with the pain. Pain on the right side of the abdomen and extending down to the feet. So you consult the gynecologist, you have seen done and diagnosed with a case of enlargement of ovary. Both the ovary was markedly enlarged. She also used to get severe cramps in the calf muscles at night during sleep. She was also having chronic migraine. Since many years, it was activated deformances. Pain was so severe that she couldn't tolerate. It was a constant pain, stitching and stable type, stable type of pain. This is the remedy. And this is the case. What do you think of? It is acute pain. When she came to me, it was very acute. For English speaker, I didn't have time to think about the remedy. State of a prescribed remedy. State of within two minutes. And in my clinic, patients started getting better within 15 minutes of the remedy. Once, uh, after half an hour, pain completely subsided, I said, you can go now. She came with very acute pain. What remedy do you think of? I treated so many cases of migraine with this remedy. So many cases of migraine. Hmm? Bela Bela. 
¿Qué? ¿Fire? ¿Fire? ¿Vale, ¿Vale, Bernard? ¿Hm? In el las Okay, fine. Okay. See, I told you beginning, each and every symptoms is very important. Huh, Amish? Huh? Zentrop Zeldam. Okay, fine. It's an excellent remedy for pain. Extreme pain. Very unbearable. Fine. Any other? Anybody? What remedy at this step is? Zincum valeriana. At this step, remedy is Zincum valeriana. 201 dose. Let's see in the board what has been written in the Zincum valeriana. What is mentioned? It's a remedy for neuralgia, hysteria, angina pectoris, and other painful affection. Notably, ovarian affection. So particularly ovarian affection. Epilepsy without aura is one of the very important symptoms. And another very important symptom was obstinate hip cuff, facial neuralgia, particularly left side of the facial neuralgia. Next. See, beautiful beauty is what Borik had mentioned, overalgia. Pain shoot down the limbs, even to the foot. Only one line is mentioned in the Borik. Only one single line. And in Fata, pain shoot from the abdomen to thigh, feet during after menses. This pneumonia pain down the thighs. So beautifully, each and every aspect of the case is matches. I gave one dose of zinc of valerian. And frankly speaking, slowly and slowly after uh, that remedy, every menses, the pain was getting less and less and less. I repeated three or four times. And she did very well. The enlarged over is disappeared, everything is fine. So zinc of valerian. And very, one of the very important symptoms, cramps in the calf muscles at night. This is one of the very important symptoms of the zincum. So, Amipati has achieved many marvelous cures, guided by the law of similar. What was the symptoms which guided the discovery in the application of this law has been specified by Robert, by Animan in a number of aphorism of Martina. In aphorism 210, he said that in all the cases of disease, we are called on to cure. The state of the patient's disposition is to be particularly noted with the totality of symptoms. So you know everything. So I am not going into the depth of the all these things. In 2011, he emphasized that the state of the disposition, a person in her quality of mind and character, that is what disposition is, of the patient chiefly determined the selection of the homeopathic remedy. The absolute correctness of the Honeyman's direction is being witnessed by us daily in every cases where the changes in the state of the mind and disposition, according to the following 2013, has been taken into account in arriving the remedy. What are the words like? Right? In chronic condition, no prescription, either first or the second, can be made without careful, thorough study of the case and the sequence of the symptoms. It is only by working out the case with the repertories that we are able to see that clearly the indicated constitutional remedy in the light of the symptoms that have been cured or relieved. It is only then we call the administrate another remedy intelligently and with confidence. So beautifully Robert is writing about use of repertory and everything. What Margaret Tyler says, Hasty prescribing by saying, if you take a lot of trouble with the case, 
when you know how, it will give you a very little trouble afterwards. Conversely, if you take a very little trouble to begin with, it will give you endless troubles. Many times repeated it. You have followed the clear water with the wrong prescription and you are going to peer into the depth. One bad prescription leads to the several and perhaps to a hopeless mixing of the case. And what is true of the first prescription is also true of the second. So this is beautifully written by Dr. Margaret Taylor. And I just follow all these instructions given by the, all the masters. So basically I said I am not a man of order or the philosophy, so I cannot explain properly. That was, but I understand everything, I apply that each and every aspect of the master says. I see my result in the to the practice. Next. So what is case taking? So I'm going with some theory, because there are a lot of students here. Case taking is the unique art of getting into conversation, observation and collecting the information from patient as well as from bystander. To define the patient as a person and the disease. We are not defining only person, we are defining the disease even with the case taking. Right? Okay, we go with the case. It, it was a case. One day I was called in a one camp. I hardly go into the camp. I never go into the camp because there is no follow up in the camp. There are a few. When the follow up was regular, only such type of camps I go in as a doctor. So I was asked to attend the camp. I went to the camp and one case was referred by Omicat. <coughs> a 42 years old male came with a complaint of hypothyroidism with anxiety and fear of death. Case checking was done by intense students in the camp. And a TSR was 11. Next. As soon as she entered in the room, I observed. See, in camp you don't get the time. There are so many patients. You have to finish within a few minutes. Because you have to see the lots of cases. So as soon as she entered, I observed that there are a lot of anxiety and fear on his face. And he was looking very tense. When asked about himself, he told me that. I have taken homeopathic treatment for the last four months, but not getting any relief. I said, tell me about your problem. I am not getting sleep properly since many months. And almost since that time, I am having the thyroid problem. Problem started with the lack of sleep. And getting scared at night. Lots of palpitation. And because of that, I wakes up at midnight with a suffocation. He gets a lot of palpitation at midnight and a lot of suffocation he has to get up from sleep. I am not able to breathe properly at midnight. Suddenly at midnight I wake up with difficulties breathing. I feel lots of gabraman. And with that I feel that I am going to die now. It's a very acute equation. He gets up at night with a lot of suffocation and gabraman as if he is going to die now immediately. With that, I get a lot of pers profuse perspiration on the face and get feeling that if something happens to me, then who will look after my family? And whenever I get these thoughts, I get more gabrama. He was hot patient, I used to get better in open air. A very simple remedy. What is the remedy? Very simple. Well, there is no need to report this. What, what remedy do you think of? And the response was marvelous. Any thought? Kali have Torex, Corpus, Pulsate. With waking after midnight, only one remedy. See, invariably I get a single remedy public, almost in every case. Anxiety, night, palpitation with fear of death, Suffocation from only one remedy again. 
and fear of and fear suffocation of palpitation with wakes up after midnight again a single remedy. Next. So anxiety is a very much called here. What the report has mentioned. Anxiety is a different anxiety is palpitation waking at midnight only one remedy is called here. Next. Fear of suffocation of palpitation which wakes up midnight only remedy was called here. If we go with the totality, the remedy was sponge here. The first step remedy sponge here. 210 years for two days. It followed by settlement for one month. And after one month, follow up. Patient is much better, is restlessness, anxiety, government is much less, and TSS was just 2.46. After just two doses, or three doses. This is what the sponge is. For me, most important, I go into the each and every depth of the patient expression. Just I want to show you one case. It was totally different approach. You see the what remedy come out. This is general what honeymoon is approach is. This is a beautiful case of simple chronic cold and cough for the last 42 years. She was suffering for the last 42 years in cold and cough. Next. Since Childhood. Since she born, she is suffering from a cold and cough. She came to me on 20th May 2019, just recently one and a half months back. It is too early to see the follow. Too early she talked about the remedy or talk to you. It's too early. But the response of dramatic. So I like to show this case. It was dramatic response of the remedy. A lady aged 42 years came on the 20th May with a chief complaint of a recurrent cold and cough, always associated with fever since childhood. She born and brought up in allopathic family. Each and every member of the family is a doctor, except herself. Everyone is doctor. She used to take lots of antibiotic almost 15 to 20 days in the month for the last 42 years. Three weeks in the month she was on antibiotic. Feel bad when I have to cough in front of everyone. Whenever I get tension, I get coughing. Whatever tension she says is, when we are Unable to do something. When I am not able to do something, I get tensed up. When someone forced me to do anything, I get tensed up. And before doing any how, I said, tell me about yourself. And she started with the same the sentence. And different with the in-laws family. There are a lot of difference of opinion between me and them. My brought up and their brought up are totally different. It's bound to with every way. But the way she talk is very important things. Still tolerate, tolerate up to some extent. Still I tolerate up to some extent. When she talks, there is a lot of ego, a lot of haughtiness. She was very rude, very rough in the language when she talked about all these things. I should tell on the face whatever I feel. And that's why they cannot connect with me. What she says, that's why they cannot connect with me. A beautiful word. The image is stuck in my mind. Words he used connect. How many patients use the word in the relationship connect? She used the word connect. Next. I feel odd one out. I feel odd one out. That was the word spoke. Feel that I don't have any importance in the family. Feel that they are three, they three are one, and I am a different. I feel that I am not connected with them. 
I feel disconnected. Feel that I am lonely and separated in all the aspect. Now what sentence is it? Madhvet thakte chale, madhvet ni thava chunge. But I thought madhvet thank you at all. See, every sentence, every word is very, very important. It shows the most innermost feeling of the patient. Madhvet thakte chale, madhvet ni thava chunge. But I thought madhvet thank you at all. See, what she does, she is accepting the things. I must say. Next. If I have to include in that family, see, beautifully she talk about, I have to go forcefully in their box. If I have to accept it or I have to include it in the family, then I have to go into their box. I will believe what is, he will believe what his mother says. I tried to communicate with him many times to find the solution. She tried to, sentence he uses, I tried to communicate with him to find the solution. But he is not responding and he is also avoiding me. Husband is not responding and husband is avoiding her. Not ready to communicate, not ready to talk to her. So I asked, what do you feel in that situation? She said, helpless. See, the word against his work. Helpless, disconnected, separated, left out. Another very important word is work, no togetherness. No togetherness. Actually, I feel that bond between us is not strong. Again, something new comes up. Bond between us is not strong. I feel humiliated. I feel put down. Nothing can be done. I have to be quiet and buried silently. What he says uh, on the phone, she says, I cannot talk to your assistant because of the personal things that she called me and she says we don't have any sexual relationship, physical relationship and I have a very high sexual desire and because of the things I have to suppress my desire and I have to go for the masturbation and she used to do, she used to do masturbate a lot because of a lot of suppression, a lot of things that happen in the life. She is having fear of being alone. I need someone with me. She does not like animals and insects. She gets lots of dreams, many dreams, many frightful dreams and dreams of dead bodies. And once she said that there are dreams of snake in the past. Desire for coffee and cold drink, ever since the citrus food. Next. Stool constipated during normal sleep, normal on the left side, hustless and chilly. Next. Past history of tonsillitis and migraine, she also had a migraine. Still sometimes she gets the pain. Family is hypertension, diabetes, hypothyroidism. This is the case. What remedy do you call? Hmm? What do you think of? Platina. Platina. What platina? Not fitting into the box. Not fitting into the box. Arjentum. Feeling of being despised. Not accepted. Not accepted. Despised feeling. Right? By the person. By the family member. Delusion despised by the family member. Very important. But Arjentum not become. Right? Very good. Then? Stephy Sagria. Stephy Sagria. Why Stephy Sagria? Suppress. 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 Sexual thoughts. Did you get the uh, mind and body relationship? Yeah. All these things. Like Steffi said, like the Renanculus family knows that raw, become a lot of sensitivity. See, talk about humiliation put down, that doesn't mean always the Steffi said here. Suppress sexual desire, that doesn't mean always Steffi said here. 
We have to look for each and every aspect of the case. Sabadila. Okay, fine. William See, Sabadila very uh, strange delusions. Body, part of 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 that is very important aspect. Excluded and included, they are very important aspect of the Lilliacy family. We cannot jump only on that excluded and included. There are other aspects should be met with the family. Or the few symptoms of Sabadilla should be met. There is strange delusions that Sabadilla has. Any other? Malveria or scrofular issue. Very good. What is different Malveria and Corn? In Marvel, there is connected and disconnected. In Marvel, there is first connect and then disconnect. That is the important thing. First they get connected and then disconnected. That is what the Marvel family is. Here we talk about connected and disconnect. But what is most important in connection and disconnection? Bond. Bond is not strong. The very important thing. Bond between them is not strong. A very weak bond. And that's the very, very important thing of the remedy. Bonding. See, most important thing was bonding is not strong. And this bonding leads to everything. But understood this bonding, my case was completely clear. Then I just, just looked into Matrimonica. I felt I feel amazed. Every word mentioned beautifully verbally is mouth. Superbly mentioned. I said, this is absolutely right remedy. So observation, and I took observation, he was very talking about the pride and lot of faith and arrogant and talking about rude and all these things. Next. Next. So I took a look. There is a rubric which I can see of it. So always, I always advise to go with repertory. Always choose repertory, everything. Delusions are smaller, delusions are smaller, delusions are diminished. Disappointment, elements from dreams of dead body, dreams frightful, embarrassment, elements from haughty pride, haughty pride, overwhelming. That when I understood this, my case is over. This will be remedy. Remedy of wisdom of Gretiola of its cigarettes. Gretiola. What is Gretiola? Generally, please have remedy for summer diarrhea. After drinking lots of water. Right? We prescribe remedies as a in summer diary only. We never use such type of remedies. We cannot think about such type of remedies. We just keep ourselves in don't try to fix make a future ideas. Think remedy in broader sense. Gettel offers is 33 doses of treatment because I have only 30 potency. One and a half months has passed. No repetition was done. And she is 40 to 50 percent better in all the respect for one and a half, year, half months. Not taken any antibiotic, no fever, no antistarvy has been taken. The mental side is much improved. I will show you what material of verbal is mentioned. About the get your Next. So I follow. Slightly better, no fever, cough, and cold is 40% better. I went into crowd and attended public function, but nothing happens. On 27 6 recently, cough almost gone, no fever. She did not take any antibiotic for the last six weeks. Mood wise, she is much better, very positive. She become very positive. Still under the treatment. Next. Most important issue with the case is of haughtiness and pride. This was a very important issue, haughtiness and pride. She had lots of expectation from her in-laws and family. Felt disappointed when her expectation got fulfilled. She married after a long time. She was divorced after a few years she got married at the age of 40, 41 years with a lot, lot of expectation from the family members. So when she gets married after a long time, 
that lady they naturally develop a lot of expectation lot of warmth lot of care lot of nourishment from each and every member of the family which she didn't get it and she felt tremendously disappointed her pride her ego has been hurt and she felt a lot of humiliated left out feeling lot of left out feeling because of that thing that's why to the rubric elements elements of overwhelming pride what she used in the case taking do the case taking was connected and disconnected togetherness unconnected bond is not strong detached and separated so if you look at the vital sensation of a structural energy family bond and connection are not strong they are loose so he wants to hold on to very tightly when the connection breaks the fear fright and delusion starts when this connection break the fear fright and delusion and sexuality that starts because of separation i forget to mention that word sexuality and this separation leads to a sexual feeling next in the family in this family at an emotional level connection means one can exist without the other they they are two separate independent entity but the bond between them is very important both are independent but bond is very important this is very important aspect of the family the feeling is not that he is dependent or that one is smaller than the other like a plug and a socket one fit to the other and together they makes a perfect connection and when such a connection breaks he experience separateness disconnectedness and incompleteness as a result he goes into the abstract and amorous devices he go into the amorous thoughts go into the sexuality and masturbation and all then the active reaction of the remedy to the sensation next what is sensation bond and connection not strong what are you talking about next passive reaction go into indifferent and detachment active reaction is attachment and amorous and what is compensation does not need bond next so what i mentioned in the verbal hotness useful in the mental trouble from overwhelming pride what mentioned in the class <coughs> next what beautiful this is beautiful and that i am sure about my remedy what is says in get your the most important cause is enmeshed from pride of others the overwhelming pride it is one of the important remedies where daughter in law has to tolerate mother in law see beautiful sentence daughter in law has to tolerate the mother in law it is one of the important remedies uh, where employees has to tolerate the employer it is a scenario where the boss dominates his staff and the staff cannot answer back if a boss is very strong in the temperament he will humiliate his member of the staff in the presence of others and this humiliation goes very deep into the ghetto mind and there is strong desire to be silent so her whole scenario whole life just exactly mentioned in the report by the by verbally in prisma when i read this i was very confident my remedy is absolutely right so ghetto and develops depression very easily and very very fast during the phases of depression which is predominantly endogenous in nature she slides into the phase very quickly once she is into the phase she desire to be silent and all her vivacity is lost she refuses to eat she has no desire to work work is impossible she goes into depression so deep that she she tired of life later on she develops the suicidal disposition the suicidal disposition is expressed by an impulsive jump and what's in the like aram but aram has strong will and is dedicated to his hard work and wants to work all the time while getula has a weak will and has an aversion to work the dip, the depression even gets expressed in the delusion 
that her head is diminished in the size, that the brain is decreased in the size, and the body is smaller in the size, and that she is the body smaller. This is all about the gate, you know? So we have a break for half an hour, right? Thank you, thank you very much.